Assalamu alaikum. This is the second of uh, the outfits in the 16 pound fabric haul, 16 pound 50 fabric haul, I should say. Uh, I, I did, I have to say, I did get a little bit stuck with this because uh, there was so much colour, as you can see from the outfit. And I, I fell in love with the fabric on this, not the actual pattern. Uh, so when you consider uh, take into consideration the pattern of uh, the fabric you're sort of like stuck on ideas on what you can do because it's so fussy uh, designing sort of goes out of the window really you, all you can do is sew it plain but then even when you sew it plain it had this random white stripe on the one side that I was totally totally stuck with okay what do you do with the stripe on the one side how do you blend it in when into the red of the other side um, okay so that's the back the back is full floral which is perfectly fine but then it, it was the front uh, and actually it was the front which was this uh, bricky type of um, pavement type <laughs> pattern i like the stones on a pavement it is and then this one is uh, like your prisoner stripes <laughs> it reminded you of but I'm too critical of my own fabrics anyway to bring a little bit color into this what I decided to do was put a piece of cut up some lace and put it in a straight row on one of the red uh, one of the white stripes just to give it a little bit of the red and uh, then what I did was the lace that I cut off from the side of this uh, it's on like a very fine meshy type of a net and I've put a full band of that going all the way down the front uh, which uh, to the naked eye that has given it some beautiful beautiful um, sort of like a combo uh, and then the leftover lace I decided to do a galati neck and uh, um, attach this on to the band of the neckline now I'll take some close-up photos of this and I'll put them on because you can't really see too well uh, with um, from the camera uh, overall it's come out very very nice I have to say I wasn't too thrilled it's in the same shape and the same cut as our first dress so we're going to keep to the same cut but they're going to be just variations of uh, the designs slightly here and there depending on what I can find to do with them anyway so alhamdulillah that's uh, I think I'm doing pretty well having managed to do uh, three outfits from a fabric that is you know a bargain it's going to be a bargain uh, sort of like a wardrobe full wardrobe okay so that was uh, that's the full dress now we had pieces left over from this as well and uh, I have done some cutting of these pieces I'll just give you a little bit of a brief of what I've cut uh, again I've cut it for Inaya and uh, this is the back of the dress that I've cut and it's um, just really an airline cut shape I'm going to do this I'm going to slightly trail it more so that it's a little bit more this was the piece that was left over uh, the main part of the piece that was left over because we had to cut the sleeves so when we cut the sleeves this was the main part of the fabric <coughs> that got left over now the other pieces that I've got left over is this one which I'm going to use on the one side of the front and then we've got a sleeve that's going to go on that side of the front and then we have the sleeve for the other side and we've got one more piece which is the stripy one for going on the other side of the dress and now what we're short on is this part of the dress and uh, what I'm going to do is search out some fabric that I can add on this part and then sort of uh, mix and match it now I have yet to, to decide on what I'm going to use so without further ado let's go and search out some pieces to put on and to finish this outfit as well because I'd rather get this out of the way because I know if I end up leaving it, it will just get left and uh, never get done. 
so whilst we're on a ball we might as well get make the most of it and get another outfit done and that way we can have a beautiful selection for an eye or two. <laughs> 